I am a sucker for a good American crime drama. Hey guys, it's G from the F Word here to review 7 Seconds, the new Netflix original American crime drama. Now, the basic premise is there is a cop in the Jersey City Police. He's part of this gang drug task force or whatever, runs over an African-American boy. This boy is left there instead of taking care of him. This cop calls his other three buddies in this task force and they just throw the body away pretty much to just leave there overnight, bleeding out. A pretty shitty thing to do to save your own ass. But this cop's got a wife and a baby on the way. He just started a new career, so he's only thinking of himself. And eventually, the boy, Brendan Butler, his parents, played by Regina King and Russell Hornsby, get that nightmare phone call that every parent would dread to get. And they find their son laid up in the hospital, clinging to dear life. And no one knows, except for us, who did it. And the search for justice begins. So there's a lot I liked about this. As I said, I am a sucker for American crime dramas. A lot of the characters in this are done really well. There's a prosecutor, K.J. Harper, that's on the case. A character that needs some redemption. A lot of failures in her life. So this is kind of her one chance to, to try to make up for all the mistakes that she's made. There's another detective, Rinaldi, that works with her. And they have a really good relationship. Rinaldi himself hasn't had the best go at life either. Made some mistakes as well. And him especially has a relationship with a witness that they have, a 15-year-old heroin addict, and he plays that father role that he probably couldn't do with his own kid. That's why he's on his own. His wife divorced him. We also have Pete Jablonski, the guy who hit Brenton Butler, and although it's a really shitty thing to do and what he did was really shitty, he does a really good job, the actor does a really good job of carrying guilt and shame in his face. I'm not saying you feel for him. I'm just saying that the actor did a really good job of showing us that shame and that guilt and that uncertainty and fear going forward from that act. He knows what he should have done and he didn't do it. But the two best roles, the two best characters in this entire thing are Regina King and Russell Hornsby, mom and dad to Brent. Butler. Now, these two are churchgoers. They believe in God. They have a lot of faith in them. And this thing would, of course, break them apart, test their relationship, test their faith, test their strength. And you've seen these actors before, and there's a reason why they pop up in a lot of stuff, because they are good when they're on screen. They're very believable. Regina King, especially as the mom, is out for vengeance, while Russell Hornsby is the one trying to keep everything together. Unfortunately, what happens in this is that the family's turn on each other, finding out what went wrong, who's to blame for our son being out by himself, who let him be out by himself. Now, a lot of these truths eventually surface as the show progresses, but again, we know what happened. We're watching everybody else learn it as it comes. And specifically, one episode, episode six, Regina King and Russell Hornsby have fantastic scenes. They're separate scenes. I won't say what leads up to them. I won't say what happens. But they are extremely real. There is a lot of emotion in there. And it was the reason why these two got cast and why they carry this whole thing. And like I said, I'm a huge fan of this genre, so I'd take it with all the cliches, all the one-liners, all the cool Jersey City accents, because that's where it's set, all of that stuff. I take it, I eat it up, and I'm all for it. I guess the only negative would be, or the only couple negatives I have are the team that Jablonski calls his little crew, the gang unit, they're almost irrelevant aside from what they did in the beginning. Yes, they are under scrutiny the whole time they're trying to keep this covered up and and the story does follow them of course but they're like a third rate shield team if you've ever seen the shield which i highly recommend you do it's kind of something like that these guys are crooked these guys are dicks they take their job to that next level that crosses abuse specifically when it comes to african-american kids that they just assume are all gangbangers they don't see them as people they see them as dogs they see them as disposable and they can do what they want which is not right the story does open up to a lot of other storylines so it introduces the brenton butler murder and takes us into the racial injustices that are going on not just in the show they go on in our world this is a very timely show but because it reaches out a little bit too far in some cases it tends to deviate a little bit from our main story and what we're really trying to achieve here. The message is already there for us. They kind of take that next step further and not to say beat you over the head with it, but they do 
take it even further to show us more and more of this. And I guess the last thing would be that if they decided to take off 10 minutes per episode, I would be okay with that. Again, because they deviate, because they open it up a little bit more than maybe they should, this does tend to get a little bit long and even the really good episodes tend to get a bit boring. All in all, this is a really good show if you're into American crime dramas like this. If you're a fan of The Wire, S.H.I.E.L.D., Law & Order, those types of shows, I'm not saying it's as good as those. I'm saying it's pretty decent. I would definitely put The Wire above everything. I would put S.H.I.E.L.D. underneath that a little bit. There's a lot of other shows, but it falls right into there. It's like Netflix's cable drama series. It feels like it. The production value isn't as clean and polished as most of them so it shows you a gritty world it gives you a lot of what you need to see and a lot of stuff that you might think is in the back of your mind but it should be at the forefront because this stuff goes on in the world that we live in and it's not cool but this one is cool it's got a lot of good stuff about it a lot of good character moments as i said regina king and russell hornsby carry this whole thing as the parents they are fantastic and everybody else around them aside from a few people here and there definitely elevate this show and make it something i think you should definitely take a look at so that's my quick review of seven seconds. Let me know if you've seen it in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Love to hear from you either way. You can find me on Twitter at the F words G. You can email us at the F word podcast at gmail.com and make sure you're following entertain facts on Instagram. And until next time, I'm G and I am out. Mm -hmm.